My name is Jenny, and I'm the customer service provider for the washboard.org. This tutorial is designed to walk you through building the Seeker profile. I understand that you might have some questions, like what makes the washboard.org different? Or what happens to my personal information? Or how do I begin? So I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started, build a great profile, and then what to do with the results. So, before you start using the washboard.org, I want to share with you some important information. The washboard.org is a product of the Washington Scholarship Coalition. We are a partnership of scholarship providers whose goal is to simplify the scholarship process and to ensure that no scholarship dollars are left unawarded. And what makes the washboard.org unique? First, we use matching technology to compare your profile with the criteria of available scholarships, which results in a unique list of potential scholarships based on your data. We are Washington State focused, serving both students who live in Washington and those who want to attend college here. We are not a scholarship search engine. It is a web-based scholarship matching tool, and the washboard.org doesn't have marketing ads and won't ever sell your personal private information. Finally, the washboard.org is secure. We act as a clearinghouse with verified providers, and your personal data is held behind a secure firewall. Next, let's go through the registration steps, just in case you haven't already registered. To register for your Seeker account, follow these three steps. One, click Seeker Registration on the home page and do both the word verification as well as the simple registration form. When you're done registering, click the Complete Registration button at the bottom. Two, a confirmation email is immediately sent to you and it is required to complete your registration. As instructed in this message, click the hyperlink to confirm your registration. You cannot skip this step. If you don't confirm the account, you won't be able to log in. If the email doesn't arrive within 10 minutes, you may want to check your spam or junk folders. Or better yet, before registering with thewashboard.org, add no reply at thewashboard.org to your safe senders list. If the email doesn't come or you can't find it, send a message to help at thewashboard.org and tell me that you need a copy of the confirmation email. I'll be happy to send it again. As soon as you get it, click the link and then you can log in. And three, now that you've registered and completed the confirmation step, you can log in on the home page. Also, if you ever forget your password, you can always click on the words forgot your password to have your password reset. Now, let's move on to building your profile. After logging in, you'll land at the Seeker homepage. You can get to your profile by clicking My Profile at the top or by clicking Go to My Profile at the bottom. Building a good profile is the key to getting good matches. Just remember, good information in, good matches out. We'll start on the Basic tab. We call these different pages the tabs. So just start here and fill out as many fields as you can. If you don't want to identify your religion or heritage or any other piece of information, you don't have to. But remember, the more complete your profile, the better matches will be able to prepare for you. When you're done filling out each tab, you can click the title of a different tab or click Next at the bottom right to move on. If you're done for now or need to come back later, click Save Profile. Tip: If you are a counselor, mentor, or parent, you'll see the Clear Demo Profile button at the top right. This button is made especially for those who work with multiple seekers. When you're done working with one person and need to wipe the profile clean, just click this button to clear all the fields at once. The next tab is About Me. The tip here is, if you don't want to type your personal statement right now, just do it later. These boxes are informational for scholarship providers and review committees and not a part of the match technology. Rather, they are a way for you to express yourself to a scholarship reviewer. However, at the bottom, there are some personal attributes that might or might not be important to you. Some scholarships have very specific, very personal criteria, and by answering any of these questions, you might get better matches. This next tab called My Academic Info is pretty big. Let's just take it step by step. My tip here is to read the questions and answers carefully. Pick the right answer for your situation right now, not next year or last. What is the right answer right now? If you're unsure what a question means, you might try hovering over it and a box with more information will appear. And when you need to select a certain college or high school on this tab, click the green Select button to pull up the match list. 
For the college list, only the approved Washington degree schools are listed, so if you're planning to go out of state, you should type it in the Others box at the bottom right of the tool. I know that searching and finding the right thing might take a second more than just typing it, but to properly match you with good scholarships, we need to make sure there are no typos. Just remember, good information in, good matches out. Next, we're at My Activities. This tab is all about you. What do you want to study? What kind of hobbies, sports, or clubs do you do? The section here that sometimes needs explaining is affiliations. So, an affiliated organization is one that you or maybe your parents or grandparents are a part of, like the Lions Club, Freemasons, or even a credit union. An affiliated company is one that you or maybe your parents or grandparents work for, like Boeing, Starbucks, or the University of Washington. And finally, you may notice that not every field of study or career possibility is shown in our lists. This is because each list is made up of information exclusively for scholarships in our system. We'll add careers as providers request them so that you, the seeker, don't have to sort through many, many pages of unnecessary choices. If you have a very specific career in mind, like high school math teacher, you may need to just select education as your potential career instead. Every now and then, check and see if your specific career has been added to the list of choices. The next tab is My Financial Need. We don't ask you to include copies of your taxes or anything like that. Just answer a few questions. If you don't have the answers at your fingertips, come back and do it later. However, some scholarships are based on financial need, so make a point to get these answered before you go to My Matches. And remember, all your profile information is kept confidential until you choose to apply for a scholarship. Tip, don't know what to put in these types of support categories? You could choose support for books and supplies, mandatory fees, and tuition. No matter what your situation, you'll probably need money for these. All right, the last tab of the profile. This is where you can attach documents you'll need to complete applications. Some examples are transcripts or essays. Think, if you attach your documents here, you won't need to remember where you put them when it comes time to complete an application, whether online or on paper. And check out this feature. Click a button and the site will request a letter of recommendation for you. You simply need the email of the person you want to write your letter. Click the button to send them a message. Then they'll post the letter directly back to your profile. The person you're emailing might need more information in order to write a good letter for you. Consider sharing with them, is this letter for a specific scholarship or just have on file? Is there a deadline or when do you want the letter back? And does your school have a worksheet you need to fill out as well? you'll probably still need to do that. It might even be a good idea to follow up with the letter writer personally. And the biggest tip of all, this is your profile. Come back and update it anytime your information changes. And scholarships are continually added, as are the values in the careers, sports, and organizations if the providers need them to be. So make a point to check over your profile and keep it completely current. And when you're all done, go ahead and click Save Profile. So now that you've filled out the profile, you'll go to My Matches. There's a lot going on here, which can take time to explain, but let me try to sum it up. The first set of matches shown is always 100% matches. This list of scholarships are the ones that match you 100%. This percentage is based on the eligibility criteria indicated by the scholarship provider when compared to your profile data. If you met all the criteria indicated, it's calculated as a 100% match. Before going too crazy and clicking Apply for every scholarship you see, you'll need to read the details and find out if this scholarship really fits. Just trust me, read it over before spending your time filling out an application that you aren't quite qualified for. To pull up the details, click the title of the scholarship in green. This is an example of the scholarship details. Here you can read more about what the scholarship is for, who can apply, and what other things might be required. Also, there are other features you can use, such as printing, emailing, and the newest one, Rate Your Interest. Giving a scholarship a thumbs up means that it's one you want to apply for now or in the future, or just don't want to forget about. Use the thumbs up to add this scholarship to your list of interest. I'll explain that next. Or, use the thumbs down if this scholarship isn't a good match for you. That way you'll know not to look at it again. The Rate Your Interest feature isn't about whether you truly like it or not, but rather if this is a good fit for you, yes or no. And it's not required that you use the Rate feature, but it certainly can be helpful. The next scholarship filter after 100% matches is the Scholarships of Interest list. These are all the scholarships that you've indicated are a good match for you. 
This is your customized list. This is a great way to keep track of scholarships you're interested in or want to apply for. Also, if a scholarship is in your list, we know it might be important to you. We'll send deadline reminders at 10 days and 3 days prior to the deadline so you don't miss out on any opportunities. Hey, want to remove a scholarship from this list? Click the thumbs again to change it to the thumbs down or to the neutral green dot. I know you're probably ready to get started, but I want to show you one more filter. If you check in with the washboard on a regular basis and want to quickly see what might be a new match, just use the New Matches filter. A scholarship will be in this list if it's new to the washboard.org since you last logged in, or if you've updated your profile and you have a new match because of the changes you've made. You can log in every few weeks, and instead of wondering if you've read about a scholarship before, you can just come to the New Matches tab and save a bunch of time. Want to know more? If you still have questions about using the site or need help in the future, just contact me. Or if you'd like to have a presentation made at your school or for a scholarship provider group, contact Mary Beth, our Marketing and Communications Consultant. Thank you for your interest in the washboard.org. Now go out and build your profile. Good luck!